Uh, on Vita Z32. Bah, yeah, we can add that for you. Today we have the Carnival de uh, Calaveras de Azucra decks, which is another Day of the Dead themed deck. These are from Natalia Silva. They're very nice, as you can see. And this is three out of like, I don't know how many versions. There was five versions, but then they also had a couple limited editions. And a separate project with uh, special tough cases, glittery tough cases, which I didn't get there, pricey. Uh, but on top of these, you get a black, you got a dark blue, you got a purple. There was also a red and a green. Very limited, like less than 100. One was 100, I think, and the other one was less than 100. This one itself was 300. Um, and they were pricey, and I just wasn't too into the colors. So I didn't get them. Um, these ones, the front, you see the spade pit with a skull in there. This one's got nice red and green colors. This one's got goldish colors. And this one's more of the same colors as this one, except there's also red within the skull. And they all have little details around as well in the corners, the little skulls. That one is skulls. This one is different, as you can see. It's floral details and this one same floral type details on the sides it says limited edition playing cards in that one and these are playing cards made in USA and you got some flowers in there the other side Calaveras de Azucar Azucar is sugar or sweet and obviously Calaveras is I don't remember I don't know um, anyways, it's Latin, it's Latin, obviously. Top, nothing but the seals, the bomb. Each one's got a different seal, ironically. The bomb says Natalia Silva.net, made by USBC. And this one is Natalia Silva.net. This one is MPC. On the back, you see the backs. And this one has an autographed. Again, you get the kind of standard skulls, fancy floral skulls that you would expect of a Day of the Dead from the deck. A lot of floral and fruity elements. And this one, same thing, except it's gold colors. But this one's got more red. And, and this one, same thing, except you got this big blob of red in the center. And it's autographed. The seals, standard USB-C seals. This one's black. This one's blue. And this one is a seal that was stuck on the cellophane. Um, which features a skull. It's a gold foil seal with a skull. It is numbered and it's 58 or something out of 300. I'm not even sure at the moment. Um, so let's look at the cards. The flaps, by the way, you get floral details. The same details. I should mention that this one, it's a little hard to see, but the tuck case has that NPC embossing the texture. You can see it right there. You can touch it. You can feel it. That's the touchy feely stuff they like to sell. So that's one of the special things about that one. To the flaps, like I said, fruits and flowers. Standard tuck case outside of that. And you get some cards. First of all, you get a double backer. It's the purple back design on one side, except in black. And the, the other one, the black deck design on the other side. So, and then you get one of the standard. You can see the differences, the flowers in the corner are different, and there's certain other details that are different, but it's more or less the same. The cards, the jokers, they say joker along the sides, and that skull with skulls in the background. Clever is the zucker on the bottom. And the other one, more the same, except he's got a Mexican hat on. Uh, sombrero, I guess. And then, the aces, they're colorful and fruity. All the cards have those skulls in the background, as you can see. Spades and clubs in yellow, hearts and diamonds in red. They also got these nice little border details on most of the cards, but not the court cards for some reason. At least not in this deck. We'll get into that a bit. Court cards, they are very nice. They're Day of the Dead themed. 
They are Mexican themed. They also look like those Russian dolls. So I found an interesting way to combine them all. The pips actually have a little detail within them. I'm not sure. Mm. What it's supposed to be exactly, I'm not sure, but it's there. Very nice court cards. Colorful, fun. I'll try to get through this quick. So it's kind of got elements of a Russian full card deck as well in there. Here's the number cards. Fairly straightforward. And that's that deck. Oops. So I got the purple one. I'm not sure how many were produced of the black and the, the blue ones. This is the blue one, sorry, not purple. Um, I don't know how many were produced of each other. Probably a couple of thousand of each. And this one, again, they, they, they have standard tuck cases. I guess I didn't mention that. You get the same thing with the double backers. You get that back design on one and this one on the other. You can see it's a very slight difference in the color. Dark, dark blue. And you get the more standard double backer. The uh, Jokers, again, the same, except in gold coloring this time. And the back design's a lot of gold. The Aces, same thing, but again, the color is more gold. Spades and clubs are also in gold instead of yellow. Hearts and diamonds, red, but gold indexes. And this one, you got, you can actually see got flowers in the background on this one instead of the skulls. So, minor differences. There's more differences. Like for one, in this one, the court cards actually have borders. Also, again, mostly gold colors, a little green. And they have musical instruments in the corner or behind them. Like there's a guitar, there's your, um, what is that, maracas, French horn, another guitar. So, basically overall the same thing. The pips are black with gold borders for the spades and clubs. Look at those nice flower details in the background. And hearts and diamonds red with gold borders. So yeah. You get for that one. Let's look at the purple one now. Again, I get the same thing on the class. You can see that texture. Very cool. Raised texture. And you get to the cards. A purple color. Jokers. Again, more the same. Except this one's got red colored with it. And this one is all red. Your backs. Again, more the same. Except that there is this big red blob in the center. Just fine. It's an interesting added little element. Now, these ones are actually centered pretty evenly compared to the USB-C ones. Also, a slightly different border element, as you can see. This one's just a line, basically. There's some corner details, and this one actually is a little bit of a, a little bit frilly, if you will. <laughs> no double bag or anything. It's only 54 cards. The aces in this one, the black pips with the fruits and not inside, and red pips. And the indexes are the same as the blue deck with the gold and the black and the red. But actually in this one, the spades and clubs are in black pips. It's just the writing is in gold. Court cards, more the same as that deck. And the number cards, black pips and red pips, same thing with gold borders. And that is that.
And this one also, I should point out, has a different floral element in the center. As you can see, it's very nice. So they're all unique and different in their own way. I don't know about the red and green ones, what they're like. Uh, these have a bicycle stock, Ericus and Finnis, to handle good. Obviously, there's some wear and tear, some chipping, as you would expect. But aside from that, the quality is what you used to from the USPC. It's good. And this one, however, is MPC. I'm pretty sure it is. Actually, uh, it is. It's a uh, linen finish, but it's a lot smoother than the USPC. It handles decently, though, as you can see. I like it. Overall, I'm going to say 9 out of 10. I like it. Very nice. You can get this from your favorite magic shops and card shops like collectiblepointcards.com. Or you can use the code VTA Safe for to save 10% in your order. Also, you can probably get it from NataliaSilva.net. And that is that. Comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.